Ooh, what is up you guys, and of course, welcome to the first battle in a VPL between the Slayport Vale versus the, um, or oh, was it Chattanooga Chestnuts? Yeah, I'm definitely screwing that one up. Or, I guess you could say Green Scrafty versus Josh. And this is a very, very interesting match because there are a lot of Bulk versus a lot of Opus for the matchup alone. Greenscraft is bringing Hariyama, Heatrun, Dragonite, Cresselia, Mega Blastoise, and Nidochain. As Josh is bringing, of course, Blissey, Mega Bayonet, Volcanion, Godchamp, Hildalisk, and Crobat. So, yeah, I really don't know too much about this game. I kinda know how it ends, but that's about it. it was a, I heard that this was a very, very entertaining battle, so without further ado, let's see if they were right. And, uh, yeah, Greenscraft, which is the one we're going to follow from behind, has a bit of a um, bulkier team for this specific battle, which is somewhat surprising. He's gonna start off with your mama. <laughs> ah, solid. Alright, going to the comatose. Or something like that. I'm probably screwing that up. So, Greenscraft is switching out, of course, not gonna be able to take that braver, not gonna risk it at least. Going to go into the blacksmith, and of course, Heatron ass. Of course, Josh is gonna go for Brave Bird, and that is... Let's see if that's a bandit set. Nah. Nah, it's not bandit. Alright, so Josh can hopefully freely switch out there. Either go for a U-turn, and uh, just get some damage. Oh, I actually have Hidden Power. Is it Hidden Power Ground? That is Hidden Power Ground, people, and that does a lot. As the self is gonna hit the field. Now, hopefully Josh actually goes for Braver here predicting the switch out because Heatran, or actually Heatran might actually be able to take one more. He is forced to go for, or actually go for Defog. Ooh, scary. Scary. Being that he's not completely weak to, of course, Stealth Rock, that probably was overdoing it as he gets to Willow Wisp on him. Alright, that is unfortunate. That is definitely gonna ensure that at least um, Hiroyama can take a Braver now from, of course, the likes of Crobat. So, if we're gonna see, of course, him spamming Hidden Power Ground, I think that's very likely. And he's gonna switch out that correct play. Go into Luna, the Cancer, the Moonduck, or whatever, which is, of course, Levitating! And that is not gonna work. That is definitely not going to work. As he's just gonna U-turn out. And, of course, with the burn, Crobat is now very ineffective against, of course, Cresselia, which it would have been, anyway, but, you know, definitely more ineffective. So anyway, gonna go to Athena, to Blissey, and there is the Ice Beam, and Blissey's gonna say nope. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that that's nope damage right there. Uh, I don't know if Blissey really can do anything outside of Toxic, but Heatran's gonna definitely be the switch in. So hopefully, uh, Josh see that and goes for a Seismic at this range. As he goes for Seismic, why would you stay in? Alright, goes for Psyshock, not gonna hurt, as he gets his stuff rocks up. Right, great play by Josh. Not too great from Green Scrafty, but um, yeah, at least the rocks are on the field for at least Josh's side now, so that's actually fairly interesting. Definitely, since Crafty actually has a Dragonite, kind of want to keep that Marvel scale intact. So right, here's if T-Wave shouldn't really do too much, considering, of course, with the likes of Natural Cure, goes from Blissey, as Heal Bell, oh, sweet! So now the burn is gone, which is extremely important for, of course, Josh. That is going to be extremely important for the rest of the match. Uh, since now we can actually Brave Bird again against Hariyama and probably KOing it to the least be close too. So yeah, this is definitely a matchup that is not too eventful as the Green Scrap is going to switch out for <clears throat> obvious reasons to your mama. As we're probably going to see a Toxic Care from Josh and whether or not, of course, this thing has a guts. Let's see. Actually wishing. Huh. That is interesting. Is it gonna try to take? I wonder, no. He shouldn't be able to take a close combat. So then again, it would be really nice to place that counter here. But here's I'm gonna switch out, right? Probably go into Crowbat. No. Go into... Oh, where is this? Well, I cannot say that properly. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. A crit knockoff definitely destroyed Bayonet there. Oh dear lord. That is, um, that hurts. So right, gonna go straight up for a U-turn, that's crit play. And that's gonna at least do a bit more than the last time. As, um, 
probably looking at the blister situation again. Uh, Seuss, right, he's going to defensive now. As offensive as Seuss can get. Probably gonna go for even Life Orb or Specs and Dark Pulse at this range. And it should do decent damage. Actually goes for Volt Switch, alright. That is not as tough, and uh, that didn't really do all that much. That couldn't be Specs. So, right, going back to Athena. Um, I don't really know what you do at that point, Josh. There is definitely a tough call here. Chrysalia is just one of those mons that, you know, it's it's unbearable to move. It's definitely unbearable to move. You really need to land a tough at this point. Chrysalia needs to actually lose HP here because it's just gonna keep on growing. And of course, with the likes of Bayonet gone, Chrysalia get all the much more threatening. And here comes the Seismic Toss. Does this mean we don't have Toxic? I can only assume if so then that is really bad that is really bad let's see we have seen of course seismic toss wish heal bell I wonder I really wonder does he pack the toxic he has to pack it so here comes Barry of course the name of Escalo if you, if you gotta get that <laughs> I wonder <laughs> all right so I'm not particularly, like, I don't think Blastos really can do anything here. Even with Aura Sphere, shouldn't even get 2 hit kill from this range. I just want to switch out. Huh, interesting. Ah, could be Miracote. Could be Miracote. Go into Vulcan. And, uh, I wonder what we'll see here. Then again, why would we have Blastos carry Miracote? Why, why would you do that? I don't think that is a risk. So, here comes the Rapid Spin. Alright. And that is gonna do no damage on Michaelion, but of course, with Stealth Rocks gone, he can now preserve, of course, the lives of Marvel scale. And we're gonna see Leftovers actually on the um, Vulcanion as Green Scraft to Ghost for Earthquake. And yeah, that does fair damage actually. It does fair damage as he lands the Toxic. Finally, a Toxic user is on the field, but he needs to get out now because he is not gonna win the matchup versus Blastoise. Blastoise is far too bulky. Plus it packs Earthquake, it's a matchup you can't win. So Josh needs to get out, probably back to Athena actually, um, because his Blissey simply is pretty much shutting down his whole team outside of, of course, uh, well, I guess you should say any physical attack that he could be carrying, such as Hariyama. So yeah, that Ice Beam did just about nope, and uh, Mega Blastoise is not looking too healthier. Well actually, the last move on Blissey was Stealth Rocks. So that means it doesn't pack Toxic. That is extremely crucial information, actually. Because that means it has very few that... Actually, without status elements, Blisses simply can't hurt too much. As he goes for another Wish here. Which is fine. Then again, it can't really do anything versus this matchup. It simply isn't possible. And uh, your mama is probably going to go for a close combat here. Can do that rather freely, even with Crobat in mind. Goes to Vulcan. I wonder. I wonder. This is probably gonna kill it, actually. Ah, pretty darn close to. Damn it, Josh! You need to toxic Cresselia. That is a very rough switch in. Oh, you know, obviously it did pay off. My bad. As he goes for the steam eruption. Oh dear lord! Don't be guts. Ooh, that hurts. And the burn. Let's see. And here comes the earthquake. If his guts, this is gonna kill. Oh dear God! We can definitely assume that this is everything, but uh, of course, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Thick fat. It's definitely not thick fat. So here comes the hidden power. Probably hidden power ground. Actually, no, that shouldn't be in the power ground. I wonder what hidden power could that be? Ice, maybe. So anyway, it looking like Volcanion need more HP. He definitely needs more HP here. So gonna go to Blue Sea, you know, of course, the Dragonite, the green one at that. And uh, he's gonna go straight up for Dragon Dance. Let's see what Hidden Power Ice can do. I believe that he can't kill him. Oh, it goes to Steam Eruption, hoping for the burn. Hoping for the burn, and we are gonna get... No, oh, there is the burn! And there, oh no. I do think, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure here, if um, if Josh doesn't have a Scarfer left or anything like that, that this could pretty much be GG, actually. I don't think Josh can take this thing on now. 
so late in the game, he has so many things that are slightly whittled down, and without Blissey having the likes of Thunder Wave or Toxic, um, there is simply no way for Dragonite to kind of be stopped here. And of course, without Quanta, it simply isn't it simply isn't being made. It simply can't be done. So yeah, I think the game is actually wrapped up, and that is actually really unfortunate. That is actually really unfortunate. And um, I don't think Josh actually played particularly bad. That crit knockoff definitely, definitely mattered. Like in the likes of Bayonet, of course, getting his HP back, being able to Mega Evolve, and we know already that the Mega Bayonet actually had Cotton Guard, which of course would have made it pretty much impossible for um, for Green Scrafter to kill, or at least kill it properly. So that's something to bear in mind. And outside of that. Josh probably should have had Toxic, of course, on his uh, Toxic of Thunder Wave. Presumably, Toxic would have been the better call here uh, to have, of course, on his uh, on his Blissey because Blissey was going to face a lot of matchups there where he couldn't really do anything. So, I do believe Toxic would have been the superior call. But then again, you know, this is the game we play, and uh, it basically is that um, Greenscraft got the matchup he needed to actually be able to set up, and two Dragon Dances is. Uh, Plenty in this kind of situation for one to actually take a person out. So um, yeah, GG to you both, and um, I'll definitely you know give Josh you know a little little covering shoulder rub really because I do believe he has the right team for what he's facing, just not the right moves. And Greenscrafter really didn't have to get out of his comfort zone here. He definitely could rely on heavily on Cresselia uh, and Hariyama actually coming back and forth. Not being able to deal directly with Cresselia was definitely a deal breaker for Josh. Then again, I'm pretty sure his uh, Bayonet was the one who was going to deal with that. So not being able to force that in or out was uh, probably what decided the game really early. And of course, Blissey not being being a bit too passive for his own good definitely made it set up harder. So not a bad game, but a tough call here because I do believe Josh played the game nice in the beginning just lack the power to kind of keep going. When you're facing the likes of a Cresselia and a Heatron, things are gonna get messy and you, you better, you know, get your tea and stuff like that. It's gonna be a long game. This was definitely not one of them and I do believe it was to a bit of unfortunate tax, but also that Josh was hoping to win this game pretty darn early and sadly that was not the outcome. So, yeah, that's pretty much all. I I definitely enjoy this game. Uh, I enjoy seeing Green, Green Scrap his mama being fat and all, you know, that's 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 how it is. <laughs> also, right, great game, guys, and thank you so much for uh, well making me, of course, uh, view it. So, hope everybody who's watching enjoyed this. Make sure to check out Josh's channel, uh, which hopefully will be starting uploading next week. So, with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.